a couple of weeks ago, my local grocery store was going through all their hair products and updating and getting rid of a bunch. And there were a bunch of them that were on sale for like 50% off. And so I took full advantage of it to stock up for different types of reviews throughout the year. That being said, a lot of these aren't necessarily curly hair products. Now, I do typically do wavy curly hair content, and I wanted to see what these non-curly hair products would do for my curly hair. So we're going to test these out. This first one that I'm trying is actually partially the inspiration for last week's video. I had touched on this a little bit on that one, but if you haven't seen it yet, I took three different curly hair specific mousses and paired them against each other to see what they did for my hair as one of them products, to see which one I like the best. Now, this particular product I'm doing this week is not a curly hair product. It's just a volumizing mousse, but... I wanted to see what it did for my wavy curly hair. So this is the Nexus Mousse and Volumizing Foam. Normally this product is somewhere around $20, though I have seen it on Amazon as low as $14. I think I got it on sale for like $7. But I am going to test this product out today, see what it does for my hair, see if I would recommend it or not for yours. So let's go ahead and get into this if you are new to my channel. Hi, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. And if you do like wavy curly hair content like this, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. All right, editing Lena here. There's a couple things I wanted to note before moving on. The first of which is that I think part of the reason they're cycling it out of my store is actually because the packaging has changed. I'll make sure to leave a, a new picture so if you're looking in stores, you can find it. But from what I could tell, the ingredients label is exactly the same. It's just the packaging is different. I know I had said that this product was probably closer to $20, but I think that was mostly just my local store's way of uh, trying to get you to get a membership is it's like, hey, this product is $20, but if you have a membership, it's closer to 15 so we're giving you such a good deal because from what I could see everywhere else like Amazon, Target, Ulta even it was a lot cheaper it was closer to 15 to 18 dollars so there's that. The last thing I wanted to know here is that I know I had said that this isn't a curly hair product what I meant by that wasn't so much that you can't use this on curly hair it's just not specifically marketed towards curly hair so their goal with designing and developing this product is to give any hair type volume. They do say online on Amazon that it's for all hair types, including straight, wavy, and curly. It's just not specifically designed for wavy, curly hair, and it's not meant to give you definition, really. Uh, I hope that helps. <laughs> The first thing I personally like to do when trying any brand new product is really just read through what it says on the bottle so I can set my expectations. So the first thing is they're saying on the front of it, this is a mousse and volumizing foam. That keyword there is volume. This is not a wavy curly hair product. This is not meant to give me any sort of definition to my hair. It's really focusing on volume. That's what I'm going to get out of it. I'm really curious to see how this turns out. Um, uh, we'll see. <laughs> now, other things that I want to note. So on the back here, they are saying this is a luxurious whipped aerated mousse gives even the finest hair, body, and volume. This light hold cushiony creme mousse will lightly moisturize and visibly bodify the hair, blow dry to lift, sculpt, and hold your full body style. So again, they're not saying anything about wavy or curly hair. This I think is meant more for blowouts and things like that. So it will be really interesting to see what it does do for my hair. But the main reason I wanted to read through that is because of one key thing here is that it says it will lightly moisturize my hair. That word lightly tells me if you personally have higher porosity hair type that needs a lot of moisture, you're going to have to pair this with something else. However, my hair is a lower porosity. I don't tend to need a lot of moisture. So I'm going to try to use this all on its own with no leave-in conditioner. I'm a little skeptical, especially after using the cake whipped mousse by itself last week. If you haven't seen that, check that out because that was curious. But I, as of yet, my plan is to do this as a one and done product. Talking about the ingredients, this is the last thing I like to look for, partially for, again, expectations and things like that, but also just to note for y'all. Water is at the top, the VP via copolymer, there's a lot of polyquats, PVPs, things like that. But there is a hydrolyzed elastin pretty high up on the list. It's like the one, two, three, the fifth ingredient. So if you do struggle with proteins, your hair just doesn't like them, this product may not be for you. Uh, however, my hair loves them, so... I'm excited. It does have glycerin. Glycerin is pretty far down on the list here. There are also two silicones in here. There's cyclopentacilazine and uh, cyclohexacilazine. I'm assuming I'm saying those right. Close enough. Those are silicones. However, they are water soluble. One final note here from editing, Lena. I know that I said that the silicones in this, the cyclopentacilazine and the cyclohentacilazine are water soluble. I don't think that's actually true from a little bit of extra research I did. It's not that they're water soluble. What it is is that they don't bind to the hair like a lot of other silicones do. So as soon as you wash your hair, it helps to remove them pretty easily. They don't build up like other silicones do. I'm not personally too concerned about them, but if you are someone who just really tries to avoid silicones, again, this product is not for you. Now let's go ahead and get into styling with this. The first thing I want to note here is uh, this is a very beautiful dress and I rather like this detailing, but 
it is very scratchy and likely will cause a lot of frizz. So I'm actually going to go in here really quick and wrap a satin scarf around my neck just to avoid that. All right, so I have sectioned my hair in two, three at this point, and now I'm going to go ahead and style it. First test of this product, we're going to pull this off. That's interesting. Most mousses I'm used to have a very different tip. This is kind of a very thin one. That might actually be kind of nice now that I think about it, especially because I like to apply these in sections. Maybe that will help me use smaller amounts of air. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so that's going to help me control how much I get a little bit better, I think. Smells very perfumey. Other than that, I don't really have any notes of it. Maybe like laundry. Yeah, it kind of smells like fresh laundry. Interesting. Texture wise, this does actually feel pretty creamy, to be honest. Um, it feels like it has a lot of smoothness to it. It's not just going away completely, but it is kind of liquefying a little bit in my hand. So let's see how this applies to my hair. Oh, that's actually relatively slippery. It's probably those silicones down at the bottom, the cyclopentacilazine and cyclohexacilazine. Those are probably adding that slip there to it. It feels pretty good. I can feel it in my hair, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with my Bounce Curl defining brush and start defining. Yeah, it smells like laundry. That's really interesting. It is giving my hair some bounce to it, so that's actually good. I'm thinking that maybe what's going to happen with this particular product, especially with the slip, it did actually give my hair some good bounce on that side. My current theory is I am going to get some definition, but I'm not going to get much clumping. My curls aren't really going to come together. We'll see if it looks a little stringy. Let's see what it does on this side. This is actually my more defined side, believe it or not. So. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be really interesting. This is not exactly what I had expected in, in a good way. A couple things of note before I go off and finish styling my hair. This does have very good slip in the hair. It feels really good working it through. So if you are someone who does not need a lot of moisture to your hair, you probably, as of yet, could use this on its own. Obviously, it's going to depend on what results you want, but it does have the potential for that. Beyond that, it's giving me some good bounce so far. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, I'm going to move up through the top of my head now. I probably will hop back on once I'm done styling, but unless I have anything else to say, I'm just going to blaze through this. I'm going to diffuse my hair at this point until it's probably about 90% dry uh, and then I'll come back and clip it up and we'll go from there. You might notice I look a little bit different. Uh, I forgot that I had a satin robe that I bought a while back and it's much easier than trying to keep that scarf over the front of this decal here. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is a much smarter choice. At this point, my hair is probably about... I want to say 90% dry. I've been drying it for probably about 20, 25 minutes. It is a little bit crunchy on the ends of these, uh, not necessarily quite all the way up, but there is a bit of a cast, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clip my hair up really quickly here with some Curl Keeper clips. Because, you know, it definitely needs more volume, all the volume. And I will be back when it's 100% dry. Okay, I am back. It's been a couple of hours. My hair is now 100% dry. Uh, feeling wise, the cast is pretty much completely gone. Some of the tips still have the very slightest feeling of a cast to them. So I'm curious to see how this turned out. I'm actually going to take this off really quick. All right, so I'm going to pull down the Curl Keeper clips. We'll fluff and scrunch and see how it turned out. Okay, so already it does actually look pretty good. However, I have kind of learned, especially since I've started using this brush, my hair really likes to settle after using it. So I'm probably going to give this about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like after it's settled. All right, so it has been about 10 minutes now. I'm going to give it one last little fluff and then uh, show you my results. Let's do a 360 curl tour.
Okay, so uh, let's talk about this, right? I'm relatively surprised based off of my expectations for this product. My expectations were more on the volume side and less on the definition side. Uh, and I feel like the right side of my head over here, like if we split, split this in half here, this got some really nice volume to it. Uh, this is a little bit on the flat side. That could be potentially though, because I need a haircut, you can see it's kind of starting to get scraggly down here at the bottom. And especially this left side tends to be a good indicator. These pieces that are more on the 2A, 2B side, uh, they appear to grow quicker, but they do tend to sit over the top of everything else when I need a haircut and they look a little wonky. That tells me I probably just need to cut my hair before I come back next time. But everything else, I mean, like look at these curls down here. That was not something I was expecting. Like, look at that one. This is not a wavy curly hair product. And yet it gave me these beautiful, shiny, bouncy curls. Like look how shiny that is. I am really blown away. Maybe this would be better used, not so much as a one and done rake it through type of product, but paired with something else that's meant to give you definition. So using something under it, like a curl cream, to rake through would define your hair and then scrunching this in at the end might give me more volume. But I still think you could use this as a one and done product. This turned out really, really, I can't stop playing with it. It's so pretty. <laughs> it turned out really, really nice. And I am really happy with my results. And I'm really shocked at how this worked for me. However, I do want to come back tomorrow because I want to check on the longevity of this. I'm curious to see, again, this is a light hold product, not made for wavy curly hair types. How is this going to last into day two? So I will be back in the morning to show you what it looks like. All right, we are on to day two now. I pulled it down this morning from my buff. It's been 24 hours since I last filmed, so it has been most of the day today. I haven't actually fluffed it up yet after I pulled it down this morning. I just clipped it up so it would stay on my face. And here we are. So I'm gonna pull this down, shuffle it up, and we'll see how it withheld the last 24 hours. Do I even need to say anything? <laughs> Uh, I definitely will, but let me give you a quick curl tour first so we can see what it looks like from all different angles. Moving into my thoughts, uh, first off, this is so pretty and I am really, really happy with how it held up into day two. I'm actually really blown away. It's so nice and shiny still. A lot of the definition down here held up so, so well. You still have a lot of these nice, juicy, bouncy clumps. And the volume has even filled out a little bit. I know it was maybe on the slightly flat side for what I expected yesterday. Thinking back, I'm gonna guess two things, one of which I feel like I probably did put just a little bit too much in my hair. Going in with a new product is always hard to tell how much. Now that it's had the chance to kind of absorb into my hair as well as while I was sleeping, it probably rubbed off a little bit on my buff. Uh, it, it looks so beautiful. Now, that being said, I have also noticed for myself personally, when using this brush, I tend to prefer my Tate 2 results, which is kind of weird for me. That's not the norm. It is slightly frizzy. Um, it's nothing really extreme. It's kind of within the realm of normal for me for day two. So uh, that's not really surprising. I did want to mention it though. And then beyond that, um, it's stretched out just a little bit. Not really, really bad. Most of these still have some good clumps to them. However, the ends are looking a little stretch. That probably isn't a huge part to the fact that I need a haircut though. So I do have intentions of cutting it behind the scenes before my next video. All right, one last final editing note. I know I don't normally do this many of these. Uh, this has been a weird video for me, but I felt like this was important to add. So I wanted to comment on it after I finished filming the video. I did go in and do a little bit of trimming on my hair. I didn't do a full on haircut. I just went in and reshaped a little bit. So I wanted to show you the before and after of that. So here's the before. And here's the after. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Let's get back to the video. This held it together really, really well. Oh, when they're saying that this is a light hold product, I would probably put it light to medium hold depending on your application. If you're just raking this and scrunching and going, it's probably not gonna give you a ton of longevity. However, when you brush out your hair, it is going to give you a little bit more longevity to your routine. Uh, I'm really happy though. <laughs> I really love these results. Uh, I will definitely be experimenting with this product a little more going forward. So I will experiment. Uh, maybe you'll see this on my channel going forward. 
hard. I am curious to hear from y'all if you've tried this product in the past. I know it's not for wavy curly hair, which is part of why it surprised me so much, but I'm curious to see if anybody's tried it. And if you haven't, but you've seen it and you've wondered and you've decided not to because it's not for our hair type, will you give it a try going forward? But let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I do post a brand new video every single Friday. So if you do like content like this, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, hopefully I will see you next time.